Welcome to your daily devotional, My Life Today, December, and Eternal Life. December 29, I shall meet my guardian angel. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones, for I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father, which is in heaven. Matthew 18 verse 10 Not until the providences of God are seen in the light of eternity shall we understand what we owe to the care and interposition of His angels. Celestial beings have taken an active part in the affairs of men. They have appeared in garments that shone as the lightning, they have come as men in the garb of wayfarers. They have accepted the hospitalities of human homes. They have acted as guides to benighted travelers. They have thwart the spoiler's purpose and turned aside the stroke of the destroyer. Though the rulers of this world know it not, yet often in their councils, Angels have been spokesmen. Human eyes have looked upon them. Human ears have listened to their appeals. In the council hall and the court of justice, heavenly messengers have pleaded the cause of the persecuted and oppressed. They have defeated purposes and arrested evils that would have brought wrong and suffering to God's children. Every redeemed one will understand the ministry of angels in his own life. The angel who was his guardian from his earliest moment, the angel who watched his steps and covered his head in the day of peril, the angel who was with him in the valley of the shadow of death, who marked his resting place, who was the first to greet him in the resurrection morning, what would it be to hold converse with him and to learn the history of divine interposition in the individual life of heavenly cooperation in every work for humanity? All the perplexities of life's experience will then be made plain. Where to us have appeared only confusion and disappointment, broken purposes and thwarted plans, we will be seen a grand, overruling, victorious purpose, a divine harmony. An eternal life, December 29th.